Good, good morning. That's in my indigenous Inklakut machine language from the Inklakut Nation. My name is Patty Williams. I'm here representing my Inklakut Nation on the indigenous side of my family through my paternal grandmother's side, and I'm also Irish, Scottish, and English. And today I will be showing you um, a demonstration on how to use inner cedar bark, which is very West Coast, very similar to what I'm wearing here. Cook's Jam, thank you. Okay, today we are going to be, I'm going to be using some inner red cedar bark. It starts as a thickness that you take off the tree. I use my um, leather cutter and cut it into strips. And then I use my splitter and thin it. And then we soak it in some water so it's very bendable. Of course, when it's hard like this, you can't cut it with scissors, but it's soaked like 10 minutes and um, it's soft enough to bend. And so today I'll be starting this little cuff. Use one strip with a, um, different thicknesses. This one I've just split into two. We're gonna fold it over. You try it on your hand to see that it fits. Often you, when you make your first one, you always make it to give away, but um, the first time you make that, the indigenous uh, tradition is the first project that you make, you always give it away. So then you have incentive to make a second one. So with this piece, I'll start the folding. It goes under and we're gonna make a checkerboard. So over and under and pull it snug. I use tools and this is how we start and then over and under. Every time you make one they turn out a little better. You get more used to the feel of the cedar and um, it just takes a little practice. After my dad died that's when I started going into Vancouver to the cedar weaving and uh, I, um, yeah, it helped me with grieving and uh, it's a medicine to help. I only use ethically harvested cedar. Most of the cedar that I have, pretty well all the cedar that I have, I've traded for it, I bartered. I usually trade earrings or bracelets with someone with for bundles of cedar. So, because a lot of traditional people do not like the monetary part of cedar because it shouldn't be, because it's so valuable and so precious. So here, we're almost all the way around. Always underneath. Over. I learned from a Haida weaver in Vancouver. His name is Todd DeVries. I'll make sure I tell him that I spoke about him. I was lucky enough to get a, a free workshop. He had a grant and many of us, 15 of us, were able to go into Strathcona. And um, so that's when I learned to make my hat. But before we could make a hat, it was, we made some baskets. I've got a basket here that I made and um, the cuffs. We made a square basket, a round basket, and we you don't usually just make a hat right away because you, cedar is very precious because we can't just go to Michael's and buy it. You have to go to the forest and um, take it off the trees. So now I'm near the end. And um, usually I just fold it over. cut it and then put a button through. Use a good needle. Uh, let's see. And the sinew. And then we have a finished cuff. That fits. 
and when I finish the cedar it's it's very flexible so I usually use a uh, glass or a cup and put it on to stretch it so it flattens it and it um, then it stays it sh keeps its shape that's how we get it to stay nice that's about it